Hey there, beer drinkers. I'm Sean, aka Kid Ugly. Welcome to my channel for your first time. If not, welcome back. Today, I have one from Southern Tier Brewing. And this is their French Toast Imperial Ale. Coming in at 8.6% alcohol. Uh, no IBUs on the bottle. And it's got a best buy date of 12 8 23 a toasted caramel notes blend in the flavors of maple syrup, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. While sugar, while milk sugar creates a creamy, sweet balance to a comp to a complex malt bill. This brunch-inspired brew will remind you of that first delicious bite of French toast. So let's get into it. I've had a few from these guys on this channel. It's the first time that I've had this one. Let's pour her in there. So it pours a dark amber, golden or orangish red with about two fingers of a khaki, roasty kind of looking head, thick bubbles. Definitely clear. Yeah, horn, you know, hazy, not hazy, but. Orange, just red, amber. Oh, man. You definitely get that sweet vanilla. Some cinnamon. Hints in that nutmeg. A little bit of breadiness. So you do get some of that French toast smell going on to it. Oh. Yeah, it smells like breakfast in a glass. Um, no coffee notes, but definitely got that sweet cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg. Kind of that creamy custody egg concoction that you would dip, you know, that comes with the French toast. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Um, it smells like it's going to be sweet. It's, I bet it's definitely going to be like a dessert type beer. But that seems to be Southern Tier's specialty. Um, I know they had the the Blackwater series that had all the sweet stuff in that. Uh, had quite a few of those back in the day. Definitely get that sweet, sweet sugary smell. Time to stop beating around the bush and taste her. Oh, definitely sweet. You get some of that cinnamon. A little bit of the nutmeg. Oh, that's definitely sweet. You get some of that custody taste to it. Um, that, you know... That French toast, custody taste, not getting a whole lot of that bready, biscuity kind of y'all, yeah, y'all, oh, those yeast characters that usually come out. Whew, it is definitely sweet. Um, I'm glad that it's just a 12 ounce bottle because. I don't, I think I'm going to have a hard time drinking the rest of this, honestly. Uh, it hasn't been sitting out long. Imperial Ale. It hasn't been sitting out long, so it hasn't had a whole lot of time to warm up. Um, it does have dryness on the back of the throat. Oh, man, it smells like French toast so much. It's, it's insane. Definitely has some alcohol legs to it. Definitely letting you know that it's 8.6. Like I said, it's got that dryness on the back of the throat. This is definitely more of like a, a sipper type of a beer. It's not one that you want to chug right down. In fact, I'm probably going to start taking a little more easy on this one. It's, it's definitely not... I keep saying do. It's not made for you to, to, to drink it right down. Sip on it, enjoy it. And maybe, you know, if you're having French toast for breakfast, if you're having pancakes, if you do it for like dinner, if you have breakfast for dinner, 
this would be a good one for you to, you know, slowly sip on, let it warm up some. Don't overindulge in it. Don't take big gulps like I was just doing. Just take your time, take it easy. Personally, um, I'm going to have to go at 3.75. I'm between 3.5 and 3.75. Keep fluctuating because it is good. It is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, maybe as I let it warm up, the characters will come out more and I'll get more, you know, I'll be into it more. It's screaming too much alcohol to me right now. The dryness on the back of the throat. I'm not a fan of. Uh, if I was eating French toast with this and trying out the back of my throat, I'm drinking French toast. I'm gonna want something else to drink along with it, not just this. So. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go with 3.5. Uh, availability. It's Southern Tier. I know they have quite a large distro. Um, New York, Pennsylvania. Probably Jersey, Maryland. Uh, if you get Southern Tier in your location, I'm not sure if this is still out. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick this up on shelves or not. I've been sitting on this for a little bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this came out. So, if you see it and you're interested in it, and it sounds like something you enjoy, you know, pick it up. Um, 8.6 Best Buy date of December. You could probably go out of AIDS some. Maybe with some, with some AIDS. Uh, maybe some of that alcohol will trace off and you'll get some more of the flavors. Maybe the flavors will dissipate. I don't, I don't know. It's 8.6. Eight, it's, you know, should be able to age it for a bit. I'm not sure of the price point of it. But, yeah, uh, if, if you liked what you saw, if you like videos like this, if you want to see other videos like this, hit a like. Uh, you can comment, share, subscribe. So, keep watching for more. I'll be back with some more. Thank you for watching, and until next time, cheers.